Hi everybody, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how I've made these crochet bowls. This isn't necessarily going to be a, a, a recommended way of how to make them but this is just me playing about trying something different and um, sharing it with you. So this is one of them and obviously I've made three as you can see. This is my favourite one so far and it was actually the first one I made. That's using the doily pattern that I've shown you before in a previous video and um, using the mottled yarn really does help I think with this process that just makes a little cute little tray this purple one as you can see isn't as sturdy as the other ones and I'll explain the different process that I use to make this one and why it's not so firm as the other ones sorry about the focus it will focus in a moment but you can see that there is discoloration there on the darker yarn which is more visible than it is on the mottled yarn as you can see that it's a bit darker and on the cream one as well it's quite visible and that is just purely where the solution was applied more thickly than in other areas but it's quite difficult to see when you get going as you'll see coming up in the rest of the video I just wanted to say sorry for the voiceover on this video because um, I had to do that because I've got very noisy neighbours and all I could hear is their silly music. Anyway, this is the fabric stiffener that I used on this occasion. I've um, never done this any, anything like this before. So I bought this fabric stiffener and draping liquid. It says it's non-toxic and it's for stiffening fabrics and trims, which is what we were basically doing. It uh, 16 fluid ounces it cost me 9.99 from amazon that's nine pounds 99 they're quite expensive there's quite a big bottle but um i was checking the back to see what this is actually a product what this is what this product actually is but as far as i can tell or smell it smells just like pva glue so maybe if you didn't want to spend that sort of money give it a go with pva glue and the fact that it can be tinted and is can be thinned really just suggests to me that it uh it is just PVA glue and here I am showing you again where you can see the solution is more thickly placed and uh, this bowl is definitely not my favourite one out of the uh, three that I made but uh, the doily is one of my favourites and that uh, is available from my Etsy shop did you like the way I shoehorned that in there yeah I won't be doing a tutorial on this this doily but uh, there is a link down below to it available in my Etsy shop so all sales do support the channel and are greatly received so you can see how firm it is this stuff definitely works and it is fun to play with it definitely is an unusual project to do I think when you do something slightly different it can be more satisfying than the things that you're used to doing. A couple more things just to quickly mention that when they're dry you do get these sort of flaky bits in between the stitches that you'll need to just pick off and they're very easy to come off and actually quite very satisfying to do as you can see there they just come off really easily and the drying time when you start off with dry fabric they take about eight to ten hours to be for completely dry maybe 12 and when you start off wet I would say at least 24 hours to dry depending on your um, environment. So to make those doilies um, that I've just shown you the items that I've used is obviously a doily I'm just going to show you this little one first because that's the first one I did and I used um, the fabric stiffener obviously that I've shown you. I used a Nivea uh, tub to shape it round and the doily that I used is from the video that I've put a link down below to and obviously the cling film to wrap around the item that you're going to form your doily or whatever it is that you're going to use fabric but obviously this is a doily um, yeah the cling film around your item you're going to form and the fabric stiffener and I've this is the first time I used it I didn't really practice with it this is the practice run with it so uh, I just literally went ahead and ignored all the extra instructions and um, yeah I had fun with it so I've got this tiny little brush and yeah that's going to take me a while so I decided to use this sponge um, sponge brush which obviously speeded up the process and as I was going round the doily I realised that this cotton's quite thick so it's going to need to be covered on both sides and I would say that that would be the case for anything that you would use this fabric stiffener for personally the fabric stiffener does say to um, drench it basically so sort of pour it on and then squeeze out the excess but the consistency of the of this and I'm going to call it PVA glue because it smells just like PVA glue the consistency is very thick and I think squeezing it out would be 
well practically impossible I don't know I didn't try it so if you have done that that way can you leave a comment down below just to tell me because I'd be interested to see if you were able to squeeze anything out so um, yeah I've covered it now and I'm just using a small brush now just to poke out any um, filled in areas which you're going to get because it is a doily after all and now I'm just going to be shaping it around um, sorry about that light coming through the curtain there um, I'll get I'll move the curtain there we go and yeah you can see it's very white because the liquid is white and it's all sticky and it definitely feels like a wet doily now so I will leave that to dry and I come back to do some more so off we go again and this time I'm going to be showing you these two doilies now um, I've got a paintbrush this time with a slightly wider bristles so that should help me a bit the two doily patterns I shall put links down below one's from my Etsy shop and one's a free one so I'll put the links down below I've got a bowl of water here to hand so that I can wet one of the doilies so that I can do an experiment start one doily wet and one dry and uh, yep yeah, I'll show you how that goes the bottle says that you can dilute this up to 50% with water so I thought I maybe I would experiment making the doily wet before adding the um, fabric stiffener glue and um, yeah didn't work too well but we'll get to that <laughs> and these are two bowls that I'm going to try and form them around soon now you're going to watch me just sort of messing about trying to see which bowl would be best for which so that one's obviously the doll is too big for that one so I'm going to have to use the pink one on the white bowl and the larger one on the clear bowl which is still not big enough but I carry on so I'm thoroughly soaking the cotton doily, giving it a good squeeze. I didn't want to squeeze out too much because I wanted it to be wet. <laughs> um, yeah, now I'm just messing about forming it onto the, the bowl, which is actually easier to do once it's wet. But yeah, uh, don't forget the cling film. <laughs> so I'll just cut that bit out of me. Um, covering that in cling film because you don't want to see that that's fairly obvious how to do that so there we go covered in cling film and I'm now putting the wet doily back onto the bowl to form it into the shape that I want it to be um, I'm just wetting the brush and going ahead with the solution and as you can see it simply just soaks straight in goes brilliantly it's much easier to do um, but the only fact is that I found that it just didn't set firm enough and it wasn't going to keep its shape at all. So if you were going to do it this method, you would this is when I would say pour on the liquid like it suggested and then squeeze out the excess. Um, and maybe you might need more than, more than one or two coats. So I'm obviously I'm doing it again, I'm doing both sides like I did with the first one. But I think that you would need to let this dry and do it again, maybe. I don't know. It just didn't work for me. I, obviously, I diluted it too much. But that's okay. That's, you know, that's my, my mistake, which maybe you might not make. So it can only help. <laughs> so I've uh, shaped that one. I've got sticky fingers now, and I'm just going to try and see if I can find another bowl to put this one onto because I wasn't happy with the one that I had lined up to use. So I tried this metal bowl, then I tried a pasta bowl, which wasn't big enough, and I tried the plate, which probably would have looked really nice, but would have just looked like a slightly dried up, curly old doily, <laughs> which is probably not the look that most people would be going for. So after messing around with those sizes, I've just decided that I'm gonna go with the draped over the bowl look and I just used the same principle that I did with the first doily that I did. I didn't wet this doily first, I just went straight ahead and painted it on. Um, I noticed that it dries a lot quicker if you do it this way, obviously because it's not a wet doily. Um, it doesn't absorb as well, but obviously uh, you get a much firmer result because you're using it undiluted. I have to say, I really, really enjoyed this, these projects. They just, you know, it was something that I thought I would really enjoy doing and it turned out to be something that I really enjoyed doing, which, you know, it's always a bonus when that happens. It, uh, 
it's very therapeutic to make the doilies and then just sort of do something completely different with them. I've also seen online people using a balloon instead of a bowl to shape the doily around which would mean that you could then potentially turn this into a lampshade and when it's draped over the bowl like it is as you can see there I think you'll agree that it is easy to see how that could become uh, a light shade maybe for a lamp more than anything a low wattage lamp <laughs> so don't want anyone's uh, house catching fire but yeah really cute there's just a, a little recap of the three that I made and three really different doilies three different effects and I just love the way that it really does firm up and I think that one just really shows how stiff that is because they're very thin strands around that middle doily holding that the edge up right um, yeah and that's that is my favorite one there because it looks the best out of, them, out of them all in my opinion so I really hope you give this a go I hope you enjoyed this video I've really enjoyed making this video it's completely different to what I've normally done I would absolutely love a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe so that you can catch my videos as they come out once every week and I shall see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye!